Well, good day, everyone. Good day to the world, and uh, hope everyone's doing fantastic today. I am. <laughs> I woke up and uh, did my usual routine, and uh, came and watched my morning videos. And there was a video from uh, Gabriel, who um, he often speaks about, you know, spiritual things. Um, much of what the subject matter of his videos are things that. Um, I've encountered in my life, so I'm. it's always interesting to hear another perspective on ideas that I already have. And uh, I've noticed that a couple of his videos lately have pointed towards A.J. Miller. So I think two or three times he mentioned it in videos, and I was not too familiar with the guy. So this latest video he put out this morning was called uh, Do We Need a Messiah? And it's funny because I made one yesterday with the same title, basically. Um, Do we need a savior? And it's um, it's along the idea that this guy claims to be Jesus. Okay, so if you haven't heard of A.J. Miller, this guy is claiming to be the return of Jesus. I'm not going to sit here and knock the guy and try to point out all his flaws because anybody who's willing to look can find those flaws easily. A very, you know, when he was young, he. Um, I heard him say in an interview, they said, how did you, you know, how did you, did you just know you were Jesus once? And he said, no, it was a gradual process. It took about a week. And I just, I just cracked up when I heard that. I'm like, a gradual process of a week. Okay, well, he claims that we're, he, I think uh, one of his quotes was that uh, we are, uh, have you seen 2012, the movie? It's going to be a lot like that. That, that we're going to have tsunamis that are going to wipe out the coastlines and everything. And... He claims that we came here 2,000 years ago, that, you know, that's when we first arrived on Earth. He's basically carrying this old religious dogma nonsense around as if it's fact. If, the per if, if, if he were to come back and say, I'm Jesus, the reality is that I was just one of many messiahs, that history is much deeper and wider, that the Earth is older than 6,000 years, uh, you know, yada yada. Uh, we have archaeological, scientific evidence to show that what he's saying is bullshit. And if people are willing to look past the science and ignore it, but believe this one delusional person who claims he's Jesus Christ, I don't really know where we're headed. It's things like this that as a society... Um, you know, I didn't want to harp on the guy until I watched some interviews, so I watched uh, a couple shows, some specials, this morning from uh, uh, interviews with him and from the compound and from family members who had lost loved ones who had left them for this compound, this cult that he's starting. And it's sad, you know, they asked, uh, one guy was just so depressed he'd met the love of his life and she left him for this crazy nut who thinks he's Jesus. These things have happened all through history. We've had, you know, the Davidian complex and, you know, Jim Jones cult and all that. but. People don't seem to look at history when these things happen. There have been thousands of people claiming to be Jesus. How is this man any different? Now, the reason why I brought this up is because I've, I've discussed this in comments with people who believe that he's Jesus. And I've asked them why they believe it. And generally the consensus is, well, you either believe it or you don't, but he says a lot of things that resonate with me, is what people say. The information, or rather the message that's being conveyed, is irrelevant to whether or not he's Jesus. And I don't see why we can't see that point. That it seems like people are willing to believe a per what a person says merely because some of their information is correct. So he has half-truths, you know. He's speaking about, you know, dealing with emotional problems in life and whatnot. But from what I understand, he left his wife and his two children. And people say, well, it was just his wife he left. Well, if you leave your wife, you leave your family. And he left his wife for a woman who's 10 years younger who claims to be, he claims to be Mary Magdalene. This was the second woman that he's claimed to be Mary Magdalene. So the guy has many inconsistencies within his teachings, if you want to call them that. And it just seems like another big bunch of bullshit. And so I have to make this video just to call it out and call it as it is. A.J. Miller is a fraud, and I had a discussion with this fellow who claimed to be a reverend, 
Um, he was very spiteful and rude, but I kept asking him, do you believe this guy is Jesus? Because he was, I said, basically my comment was, if this guy's really Jesus, I'll believe it when loaves appear on the tables of the hungry, and, or he walks on water, you know? Kind of a sarcasm there, but the guy says, well, what, does he have to prove, why does he have to prove to you that he's Jesus? Said, he has to prove to everyone that he's Jesus. The only reason that people believe that Jesus was who he said he was, the only reason that Christians believe that Jesus is who he said he was, is because he performed miracles. If he hadn't performed any miracles, there would be absolutely no credibility to the Jesus story whatsoever. Every time you get into it, the miracles come up. It's always miracles. So when is this guy going to start performing some miracles? And, uh, you know, there are a lot of these guys out here. But I ask myself, do I even want to speak out against him? Well, yes, I do, because there are a few people out there who are still going to get suckered into this and maybe a whole lot more before it's over. And people are following this man as if he's God. And it's just sad to me. We've put people in place of our own emotions and our own thoughts. We've allowed others to think for us for so long that we're afraid. All of these ideas that he conveys, that people say they resonate with, these are ideas that I already know. These are things that many of us already know. And there's nothing new under the sun. It's just, he's retelling old ideas and old tales as if there's something new and special. So the suckers are going to fall for it. The people who haven't looked deep enough. And uh, I'm sure this guy will fade into the woodwork like the rest. One other claim people make is that he's not out for money. That he's doing it, you know, because he wants to. That's bullshit. You don't build a major compound like that without money. He accepts PayPal donations and he works on the sly donation system where you pretend like you don't want money, but if you want to help out, it'll really help us all out. Just like the church has done for so long. It's just another marketing ploy and I hope people can see past it. But let's just say for a minute that the guy is completely serious and he believes everything he says. It doesn't mean it's right. It just means he's delusional. So, I'll keep my mind open, and if the guy performs some miracles, uh, I would think if, if he was really the return of Jesus, people would be flocking to that place. And a lot of people are, but only the locals. But, um, anyway, those are my opinions on A.J. Miller from what I've seen. I think he's a crock, I think he's a, a fraud, and I think he is a little bit insane. And um, maybe we all are. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm speaking against Jesus here. Who knows? But until he shows otherwise, the burden is on him to prove himself to be Jesus, not us to prove that he's not. And uh, so, A.J. Miller, you're a sad man. I don't know what else to say. I can see through a smile. I can see through a fake smile. And when I watch him, he's full of, he's fake. He's a fake. I can't, I, that's just my opinion, and I figured I'd put it out there. So, um, I can only go by what I know, my personal opinion. So, what I say may be wrong, and I'm willing to admit that. But, my heart and soul tell me that this guy is just another guy. With nice teeth, and a nice look to him, that can captivate people's attention, like so many others have through history. I said if he was a fat, bald guy with glasses, people probably wouldn't listen. It's sad, but it's true. Even if a fat, bald guy with glasses performed miracles, they still probably wouldn't believe him over this guy. He's got away with words, and a lot of people do. It's just uh, learning to use those words for the power and the good of all people rather than the self. Words should assist everyone. and uh, So, that's my take on A.J. Miller. Take care.